COVID-19 continues to increase exponentially. And here's the interesting thing about it is affecting kids seriously. There's lots of complications. I was looking at a study in the US and UK, and this doesn't mean that children from other countries aren't affected as bad. Um, as we all know, when it all started, we thought it was mostly affecting adults. Um, and now children are starting to show complications. And I'm gonna tell uh, you shortly about these complications because we are seeing children landing in ICU uh, because of COVID-19 complications. And remember, COVID-19 has been very hard on our emotions. So you can imagine what's happening with our children right now. You know, there's children that have really bad anxiety right now. There's a lot of children now that are struggling with drug abuse. I have young children as young as 12 that are struggling uh, in my practice. So I would like parents right here to actually know the symptoms to look out for and also when to visit the hospital because a few times I've seen parents saying, I'm scared to go to the ER. I just want to reassure you that ERs, um, they're trying their best to keep the places clean, to keep them sterile so that you can actually be safe when you are there. It doesn't mean that when you see symptoms, ignore them, okay? So typically coronavirus is like any other virus. You'll have the runny nose, fever, sore throat, uh, and when it gets serious, get worse, you'll have that shortness of breath, you will have uh, the cough, and for some reason COVID-19 is causing these coughs. People uh, have dry cough, and then progressing to shortness of breath. But with children, it's starting to affect other organs. You know, I mean, with, with adults too, we've seen strokes. Um, even blood clots in the lungs, but children, it's so painful to see a child landing in ICU because of COVID-19. Uh, we are seeing toxic shock syndrome where you get septic, like you get infected, the whole body, the whole system uh, as it gets worse. And of course it could cause multi-organ failure, like your kidneys, your liver, this is serious. And we also see neurological symptoms where children have seizures. So you guys, let's be serious about uh, protecting our children. Let's do what our countries are telling us to do. Of this, I mentioned mental health. Children are, str are, str are struggling right now. They are struggling. Like I mentioned, I have children as young as 16 coming to my practice, 12 year old. They are struggling with severe anxiety. Some are doing drugs. You know, yesterday I got to know about Molly. Do you know Molly what it is? It's uh, ecstasy. You know, they also talking about downies. Downies are benzodiazepines. You know, there's all these names they are giving, you know, drug uh, traffickers, they have all these names for these drugs. So we need to be very closer like we've never done with our children. Keep an eye on your child. Be uh, observant of new behaviors. Be observant of new friends. Be observant of your child being withdrawn staying longer in his or her room, isolating himself or herself, just the changed behavior, pay attention to it as a parent. Because right now, kids, they also have no outlet. They are not seeing their friends like they used to, right? Looking at UK, UK, they had to start again with a new variant. They had to start again with the lockdowns. That's hard on emotions. Our children are growing up in, in hard times. We never had these issues growing up. So we need to be careful. And uh, a follow up to what I said yesterday. Yesterday I came here and I was ranting actually and I was upset because of parents not willing to put their medication, I mean their children on medication when it has to happen. Guys, what are you hoping for? I'm gonna leave you with this question. When your child has severe ADHD, when your child has severe anxiety, your child is not sleeping, what are you hoping for when a doctor or psychiatrist treating your child, your counselor, uh, or whoever, whoever is trying to help your child, when you are refusing to put your child on medication despite having all these symptoms, all these years, because usually it takes years for parents to bring their kids to the doctors because they are concerned of their about their behaviors. So 
I'm going to leave you with this. When you have pneumonia, would I tell you to go and pray about it and not treat it? Definitely not. So when your child is struggling, the one thing I know, the parents have told me, their kids, even their schoolmates, their friends cannot stand them. It's difficult to make friends when you have um, a unique expression of behavior. So it's important when you think of you are not going to put your child on medication that is suggested and the child fits in on the diagnosis criteria and you choose not to do anything about it in terms of being proactive and do what you need to do, you are taking away from your child. You are taking away from his or her self-esteem. You are taking away from his or her potential because remember, when a child is struggling with ADHD and the teachers brought it to your attention that this child is struggling with attention, this child is struggling with waiting for his turn, this child is struggling with impulsivity and you as a parent chooses not to do anything about that, you are stealing from him stealing from him and his progress what could be best and remember adhd people are very creative if you could give your child the tools or let the people that are in his life to help him or her to help him with his tools you are giving him or her the best gift you can ever give to a child so i'm gonna leave it here uh let's um be receptive of the help the doctors, the psychotherapists that are looking after our children. If there's something that is brought to our, our, our attention, teachers, they are great observers, pay attention to that. Alrighty, you guys take care, enjoy your Friday and look out for the show. I'm bringing a first of its kind next Friday. We're gonna discuss every topic you ever wanted to know, medically, psychologically. I'm gonna bring parents here. This is gonna be a bomb, all right? So I'm quite excited about it. It's going to stream live to this page, uh, to my YouTube. If you're not following my YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, press that notification button so that you don't forget. And there will be replays. I know that the time difference, time factor is an issue sometimes, but check out the replays. It's going to be fun. I'm going to bring top-notch speakers, amazing people with up-to-date medical literature. All right? So you guys take care, enjoy your weekend, and God bless, stay safe, nurture your relationships, nurture your mental health. These are hard times. They are hard for all of us. As it is in our clinics, we are exhausted, but we have to come up here and show up and do what we need to do. So do your part. Take care. Love you all.